What's going on everybody? It's Jackie Terry's graphic design and today I'm going to do a picture for my uncle and what he wants is he wants the cars on a t-shirt and the good thing about this is he already drew out the cars. They're already ready. They're already cuttered in so I don't have to do too much um, with this photo. I can just um pretty much edit it the way I want to. This is what graphic design is all about man. It's all about bringing out your own creativity in many ways whether it be drawing pictures anything everything coincides with graphic design so i'm going to show you exactly how i'm going to turn this drawing and transfer it over into a different background and eventually put it on t-shirt because that's exactly what he wants so you guys could either send me your images or drawings and i could tweak it you know i could actually tweak it put in another background for you put it in a t-shirt format it could be a drawing, it could be a picture, it could be anything, you know. Um, it's all about using your own creativity to express yourself and to express yourself around other people. You know, people like self-expression. Why not express your arts and your creativity? And that's what I'm here to do. That's one of my main goals in graphic design is to kind of help other people bring out their self-image and their creativity. I got a job and my uncle requested that he wanted the cars on a t-shirt. So, hey, let's get started. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. It's Jackie's Graphic Design. Let's go, let's get to business. Okay, first off, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna find an image on my computer. Um, I saved it under Rogers Classic Custom Cars. That's actually the name of the brand that I put on the picture itself on the original background so we'll check it out see if we can pull it up perfect this is the picture right here and i'm gonna show you guys what it exactly looks like and the whole concept of what i'm exactly trying to do for now, he wants street cars in the picture, but for now we'll do one because these are some really great images and we could do multiple different t-shirts by doing these cars separate. Here in a later video, I'll show you how we're going to get all three cars in there in one particular t-shirt. So we want to have multiple t-shirt designs. Today, we're just going to do the police car because... To me, that's the one that stands out more in a cop car. It's, it's a classic cop car, and who doesn't like cop cars? So what we're going to do is just take this police car, and we're going to cut it out. And we're going to put it in a totally different background. That's the first step. Let's get to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this image. Once again, the Photoshop elements. So I wait. there's already a blank screen. As you see, it's transferred over to Photoshop Elements. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Expert and grab that Lasso tool. We're going to click on that Lasso tool. And what that's going to do is allow me to cut out the image the way I want to. It's going to allow me to put it in a background that's fully transparent. But before I grab this Lasso tool, I also want to duplicate this background. So I can get that full transparent background. You always want to duplicate the background, lift click, and always put duplicate layer if you want to double the layer up for that transparent background. Once again, I come over right over here to the lasso tool right here. The exact same one I'm clicking on. We'll zoom in so we can get a better cutout. No, just a tad. What we want to do, we want to right click and we just want to drag this lasso tool over the car. Right over there. Just going to drag it. It doesn't have to be real neat or real pretty. You're just pretty much cutting out the image. You want to hold the right click down on your mouse and you just want to keep dragging this all over the car. Almost like you're forming a circle, almost like you're tracing over it. Right over that car. And 
when you're done, you simply let go of the right click mouse. You simply let go. And as you see, it's already highlighted. It's ready to go. That's a, that's a software indicating to me that it's ready to be cut out. So what we do to cut this image out, we're going to do a left click. We're going to go to layer cut right down here, right down here in this area. We're going to go to layer cut. And I'll actually show you guys how it works. As you see, the car, the cop car is already cut out. It's ready to go. It's in a fully transparent background. So these two backgrounds right here, I really don't need anymore. So what I'm going to do is delete these backgrounds because I don't need them. We already cut the image out. The image is already in a full transparent background right where we want it. We don't need these images anymore, so let's get them out the way. I'm going to click the eye to show the car to indicate that the layer is visible. And it pops right up. It pops right up. What we're going to do, we're going to drag this car, this cop car, all the way to the middle so we can get a clear view of it, just like that. We'll actually flip it as well because the image I want is horizontal. You know, the background I want is horizontal to the image. So we're going to flip this image as well. Simply go to rotate. We're going to flip it horizontally, just like that. Now, we got the image flipped. We're just going to go over to the eraser tool. And simply erase all these gray spots because you don't want that to be in your new image. You know, you don't want that to be in your new picture. We're going to replace this solid transparent background with something else. Maybe a full black background. And you don't want the little... The little gray areas in the background. This is the stuff the lasso tool didn't get. So what we'll do is we'll just kind of erase it. As you see, I'm right clicking and I'm gently just kind of going over these gray spots. Very simple stuff, guys. Um, think of it as like a coloring book. And I'm going nice and Nice and fast, just over the areas, just over the general areas. So it looks even more like a cutout. You can take your time doing this. I'm going a little bit faster, just so I can demonstrate. But you can actually take your time doing this and, you know, really get in between the cracks. Because you want to look, you want it to make it look as authentic as possible. As you see, I'm just going, cleaning up the stuff the lasso tool couldn't get to. Cleaning up those marks. Looks fairly good. Whoa. I'm going to fix this light up just a tad. Okay, it looks really good. I like the way it turned out. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save it. You always wanna save your work in Photoshop. You never know what can happen. Your computer can crash. It can lose valuable information. So um, you wanna be able to save it. And I'll just save it under anything. Save it under Roger 77. I always save it as a JPEG so the computer will know what it is. So even though the background is fully transparent, you want to save it as a JPEG so you can be able to stick the background in there. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. So that came out good. Now we're going to go back to our album. we're going to do next, we're going to click on this design I particularly made. I picked the logo in there already. It's called Rogers Customs Cars. We're just going to drag this down to Photoshop.
So this is the original background that I made earlier. And this is the original background that essentially I got off the internet. I used Photoshop to put Roger's Classic Cards. It originally had another logo on it. I just erased that. And put Roger's Classic Cards. And I like the whole concept of this particular car driving. Now, you see the effects like it's moving. And that's how I want the police car to look. So we're actually going to lay the police car on top of this car. And give it that same appeal that the police car is actually moving that's one of the reasons why i chose this image it's almost kind of like a 3d image and very good image you know with this you want to express your own creativity look on the internet look on google and you know find some designs and easily make it your own that's what being an artist or a graphic designer is all about you know just finding different ideas and making it your own So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to drag this image to Photoshop. I have an image, it's up and ready, it's ready to go. I'm going to click on the police car image as well. And what you want to do, you want to drag this up. You want to drag it all the way at the top. Okay, right now you see it's over the image. It's over the police car. That's an easy fix. All you have to do to put the police car in this background is simply drag the layer up. And there you go. The police car is right there. And we're just going to reposition it. That's all we're going to do is just reposition the police car with... The move tool. The move tool is very handy. You can angle it in different ways as well. The little arrows will show you the different ways you can angle. Right now, I kind of want it curved. So we'll curve it a little bit just to give it that full motion feel. Like it's moving in full motion. We'll drag it up just a tad. Now that we've got the background fully intact, everything looks good, we're going to crop our image so we can get all rid of all that white transparency in the background. We're just going to crop it. Very easy. Very easy to do. You just go to God, you go to touch-ups, you just want to crop it. You see I'm dragging this cursor. And we're just going to get rid of all that transparency background. Now you have the all black background like we wanted it. It looks really good right now. Really looks really good. And the final step to make this project actually really stand out we're gonna tweak it a little bit we're gonna go to filters we're gonna just um tweak it and just to see how it looks right now it still looks fairly good we're but to make it look really good you want to go into the filters you want to experiment the filters are located right at the filter gallery and it's going to bring you all different types of options all different types of options you can do the basically bring this car out right now I'm only clicking on a few you can really click on all different types of options um, the best part is um, you gotta you gotta tweak it you gotta tweak it in order to make it look really good so right now the way I'm gonna tweak this image I'm gonna go to the Orton effect and see if I can bring it more of that in-depth feel, more of that dreamy type of look. And we're going to blur it out some, just a tad. Blur it out and give it more of that cartoony type of feel, more of that 3D look. And as you see, just blurring it out, it's going to get rid of all that and give it that more of that feel, that more of that cartoony feel and it's going to blur out everything which is really good it's, and 
what we it's actually what we want in this particular image. And now um, I might adjust the shadows. Just a tad. Looks very good. Not bad. And we can even give it a zoom burst effect. And what that's going to do, it's going to give it more of that 3D type of effect. It's going to actually make the car look like it's in full range of motion. And that's exactly what we want. We're going to click to the add focus area and we're going to add focus on where we want the car to be focused at. Mainly on the headlights and definitely on the logo so they can see the logo. Focusing out. So just adding that zoom burst effect, it looks like the car is in full range of motion. It looks like it's really going. I might add a little bit of focus toward the bottom of the headlight as well. So it really looks like this cop car is on the run and that's what we want. We want to give it that 3D look. We want it to stand out because it's definitely going on a t-shirt. Add a little bit more kinks and then we're almost finished. And as you see, I just click Orton effect again and it gives it that more of a darker feel. Now it really, really looks good. This shirt, this, will, this design will look really good on a black t-shirt. And I think we might be almost finished, you guys. All in all, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We replaced the background. We got a good clean image of the police car. It's in full range of motion, full effect. It, it looks like it's taking off, which is good. Um, in the next video, we're gonna put it on a t-shirt and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do this. This is Jackie Terry's graphic design and I'm out. Always find different ways, different kinks, you know, to push your art levels to the limit. This came off of a drawing, and if it's already drew out with colors in it, it just makes this a lot easier because you don't have to digitally put colors in it. It makes everything a lot easier. you got everything you need, filters, to different type of filters in Photoshop to really bring this picture out.